reaches 1% to own more than the rest of the world. Doxfam says the wealthiest 1% will soon own more than the rest of the world's population, according to a study by anti-poverty charity Doxfam. The charity's research shows that the share of the world's wealth owned by the richest 1% increased from 44% in 2009 to 48% last year. On current trends, Doxfam says it expects the wealthiest 1% to own more than 50% of the world's wealth by 2016. The research coincides with the start of the world economic bottom in Davos. The annual gathering attracts top political and business leaders from around the world. Doxfam's executive director Winnie by N.I. Ibit, who will co-chair the Davos event, said she would use the charity's high-profile role at the gathering to demand urgent action to narrow the gap between rich and poor. In a statement ahead of the gathering, MS by N.I. Ima said the scale of global inequality was simply staggering. It is time our leaders took on the powerful vested interests that stand in the way of a fairer and more prosperous world. Business as usual for the elite isn't a cost-free option. Failure to tackle inequality will set the fight against poverty back decades. The poor are hurt twice by rising inequality, they get a smaller share of the economic pie and because extreme inequality hurts growth, there is less pie to be shared around, she added. Doxfam made headlines at Davos last year with the revelation that the 85 richest people on the planet have the same wealth as the first 50% 3.5 billion people. It said that that comparison had now become even more stark, with the 80 richest people having the same wealth as the first 50%. Line analysis. Robert Peston, BBC economics editor. To be clear, Doxfam's claim today that by 2016 the richest 1% could own as much or the same as the bottom 99% is not wildly implausible. There are all sorts of reasons why such increases in inequality are troubling, and not just for those at the bottom of the income and wealth pyramid. One is that aspirational people on lower incomes have massive incentives to take on too great debts to support their living standards, which exacerbates the propensity of the economy to swing from boom to financial crisis bust. Another is that the poor in aggregate spend more than the rich. There are only so many motor cars and yachts the billionaire can own. So much of the super rich's wealth sits idle as it were, and therefore growth tends to be faster when income is more evenly distributed. Robert Peston, Why Extreme Inequality Hurts the Rich Line The charity said the research, published on Monday, showed the 52% of global wealth not owned by the richest 1% is owned by those in the richest 20%. The remaining population accounts for just 5.5% of global wealth, and their average wealth was $3,851 2,544 pounds per adult in 2014, Doxfam found. That compares with an average wealth of dollars to dot seven and per adult for the elite 1%. The study comes just a day before U.S. President Barack Obama's State of the Union address, in which he is expected to call for tax increases on the wealthy to help the middle class. In October, the report from banking giant Credit Suisse also also said that the richest 1% of people own nearly half of the world's wealth. Dot rich getting richer. The charity is calling on governments to adopt a seven point plan to tackle inequality, including a clamp down on tax evasion by companies and a move towards a living wage for all workers.